What's good, everybody? This is Big Sean, a.k.a. Sean for And we're here at the Comic Con in Manhattan, New York, New York City. And I got my man, Big Ohms. Well, Young Ohms. What's good, Ohms? What's <laughs> Yo, going on? Yo, What's going on, son? <laughs> Now, introduce yourself for a quick little tell hey, me you I, is. I'm Ohms, you know, Raw Gameplay. We here at Comic Con 2010. That's right. And join, you be like, why are these guys sitting down? I'm tired, son. Yo, <laughs> I've been walking all day. <laughs> Enough. I need to take a seat. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? What's going on, man? Yo, we here getting the end. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here. You know, we see the Donkey Kong, the Marvel vs. Capcom 3. We see the new Red Dead Redemption downloadable content. <laughs> Serious. Yo, the Red Dead Zombie add-on is going to be serious. Serious. You know what I mean? So we here just, like I said, getting the end. But we want to give you, you know, a, a, a review. Castlevania. Oh. The game is crazy. I, I'm almost speechless. You know how we get down. We cover the story, visuals, controls, buy it until forget it. So, oh, Ohms, yeah. Shiz, you got an end? What's the story in the game, man? All right, basically, you play as Gabriel Belmont. Um, the Lords of Shadow put a spell on Earth that separates Earth from the heavens, allowing evil to run amok. And now Gabriel is on the mission to slash save his girl yep. and save the world. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have to say, man, this game is long, action pack. Oh. Action pack. Oh, my God. And, you know, I would say it's a mixture of Dante's Inferno. What else? Um, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, Dante's Prince Inferno. Inferno. Gods of War, I don't know, because a lot of people are saying that it's like a Gods, Gods of War uh, game. I don't know, man. Yo. I really don't know about yo, that. Yo, yo, you heard it here. It's better than God of War. Way better. I said it. Way, way better. What? <laughs> it's better than God of War. Yo, if y'all got a problem, see this man. Yo, Ohms at Raw. Yo, send the hate to Ohms at Raw Gameplay.com. <laughs> All right, Raw Game, I mean, I mean uh, God of War is just X, X, Y, X, X, Y, X, X, Y. You get through the whole game like that. This, the combo system in this game is oh, crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, there's like so much moves. So many combos. The system works with, like, you know, you earn money as you kill enemies, and then you go into the book, and you're able to upgrade your character. So you can save up for the best combo right away, or you could, you know, buy the little ones first. You know, like the XX, yeah. Y, yeah. get you through it. Um, and you got the one with you hold X and press X. But when you hold X, like, bam, bam, bam. Yo, Yo. it's crazy. It's Put crazy. It Let's talk about the controls real quick, man. Controls are great, you know, standard. The one thing I don't like is you can't control the camera. Yeah, so that's the, the only thing. That's you can't, the only thing. Yeah, you can't control Sometimes that. Sometimes when you're walking backwards towards the screen, there'll be a little blind spot. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, you just hit the Y button and... All day. Get it in. All day. That's I like it. the magics in the game. I like how you could have the the um, light magic to heal. And the shadow magic. Shadow magic. And then with the light magic, let's see if the energy is low because in the game, you know, with the with the fountain, when you heal up, it's not, the, it's not many of those in the game. So let's say if you, like, have low health, and then, if you know, if you have the light magic, you turn past LB. You press the LB or, or, or left stick. It's LB, LB, right? LB. LB turns you on your light magic. It. And then if it's activated, you will turn blue. And then when you turn blue, when you hit the enemies, your, your energy will go back up. Exactly. It's very useful. Exactly. Um, The shadow magic, what I like about the shadow magic Ooh. is like, when you hit the enemy, it makes you, your attack stronger. A lot stronger. So when you hit in the enemy, when you, you know, you press the right, right RB. RB, correct. And you turn red. And then when you turn red, you know, you hit them and then it takes more energy, no, more you know, more damage out of the enemies. Yes. And I think that's very useful. I think both of them magics is useful. It also has a system, the, the system where, you know, I forgot what it's called, but at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen. For every combo you do, it starts building up. Yes. And if you keep spamming the same combo, your meter's not going to build up. You have to do a variety of combos. Yes. And once that meter builds up, every time you hit an enemy, the neutral orbs pop up. Yes. And you absorb the neutral orbs. You decide, do I want to absorb it for light? Or for dark. Dark, yeah. Because ain't that much health in this game. It's not. It's not. I myself played it on hard. You know, it took me about 30 hours to beat. And, you know, the story's epic. The ending was best ending since uh, Red Dead Redemption's ending. Yes. Because video games nowadays, the endings are just horrible. This ending puts you... Yes. <laughs> well, you haven't seen the ending yet. I haven't yet. seen the ending yet, but I will see the ending <laughs> real soon. You know? Let's talk about the visuals. How's the visuals in the game, man? The graphics are excellent. Um... 
they're so excellent that on Xbox that they had to put it on two discs. It's like six and a half gigs on each disc. Yes. Um, it consists of twelve chapters, and you know each chapter has a few levels. Twelve long chapters. Yeah, the last chapter isn't that long, but you know the story's excellent. The visuals are great. The cutscenes are great. You know, it's the guy that brought you Metal Gear. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you playing this castle. You know, castle. We know Castlevania for a long time. Yes. Since it came up for Game Boy, maybe for Nintendo. Yeah, the original Nintendo. Do you think this Castlevania is the best? Because we, because in my opinion, the best Castlevania I played was the ones on PlayStation, PlayStation Two, or PlayStation. Tell you the truth, my favorite, my favorite um, Castlevanias were the ones for the DS. Okay. The Portrait of Ruin, the Dawn of Sor Sorrow, the Order of Ecclesia. I had a lot of fun playing those. But this this is cool. It's something new. Like yeah, it's 2010. Especially, especially for the new generation of yeah. today. We can't be making 2D side scrollers for an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know that's why they put out the Harmony of Despair. Yeah. Which to tell you the truth, the DLC for that was a, such a letdown. The extra level. Yeah. But whatever. We saw we saw your review on RoyalGamePay.com. Oh. You said oh. <laughs> 400 points down the no drain, my friends. No achievements. No achievements? No achievements Who will buy that game? Who will buy that DLC? Me. You? <laughs> oh, of course. You, you, you're a Castlevania fan, so we all, we all know that. Well, uh, I didn't know there was a cheat because, you know, they didn't announce it. Like, you know how on Xbox it usually says, uh, today is the spotlight? Yeah. yeah. You had to go digging for it the day it came out. So I didn't know it didn't have achievements. They promised two new characters. Nothing. 400 Nothing. points down the drain. Anyways, so what else about Castlevania? Well, like I said, man, the game is great. I love it. I don't think, in my option, I don't think it's like it's a God of War game because nah. God of War is just a whole bunch of button matching. This game has button matching too. Platforming. Huh? It has a lot of platforming. Yeah, a lot of platforming. But the button match, it's not that much button matching, trust me. Because if you play, for, for, new, for your new gamers out there, if you'll play God of War, and if you'll play Castlevania, you always see the big difference between both of them. So please, like Om like, like, like said, don't compare Castlevania to God of War, because Cas matter of fact, Castlevania is way better than God of War. It Story's way better. Story's Combos great. are better. We already did that. Did the story yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got Michael Hurd in the background, you know. But as in, as in buy it, rent it, or forget it. What do you think? All right, times are hard now. You can't just be dishing out 60 bucks for a game. You know what I mean? You know. If you're a true gamer and you're gonna pop it in and play it on hard and you're gonna go for all those achievements, definitely buy it. But if you're one of those people that's like, all right, I'm gonna run through it on normal, just rent it. I would say, play the game, buy it if you go play it on hard. Like he said, if you play it on normal, you might as well just rent it. So yeah. Ohms, I totally agree with you because I'm playing the game on hard and to tell you the Who told you to do that? You did. All right. You're my best friend. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I never played. It's been a while since I played a good platform game with lots of challenges. So I'm really enjoying the game. Yeah. The game is two this. It's very long. Play the game on hard. If you want to go through the game, play the game on normal. Just, just, just pretend this. Like he told me the other day. If you play the game on on hard, pretend the game is normal or hard, and normal is easy. <laughs> Oh, yo, and when you beat it on hard, you unlock some special items for your yes, character. Yes, yes. Should I spoil it? Yes. It don't matter, right? Nah, don't spoil it, man. Let, let, them, let them figure I'm it out. I'm not spoiling like story, I said, though. Like I said, play the game on hard, and you, you, you would get rewarded. So, so you know it's the guys that brought you Metal Gear. So when you beat it on hard, you unlock Solid Snake's eye patch for your character that you could rock and the bandana. And then you unlock Paladin mode, which is basically super hard mode <laughs> you know i'm playing well, that, right? I, well well he's playing on super hard mode but he is the way how he's playing it is like easy for him he's going through levels like this like this yeah. like this it's basically the same as hard but the, the enemies take off a little more health the game is good i i suggest you buy it and play it all hard once again this is big sean aka sean f for rawgp.com and i got my boy ohms Tell them who you is, man. Ohms, tell them your gamer tag. You said it all, bro. Email. Tell them your gamer tag. Monthly beatdown, oh, man. Monthly, monthly beatdown. Beat at the E-Spot, we're going to have Street Fighter 4, Tekken 6. Come on down. You know, you can't be playing on Xbox Live all day. Come face your opponents face-to-face. -face. Uh, what else? 
we, like I said, we at the Comic Con, so stay tuned. We're going to give you, when we get a chance, we're going to give you news, what's going on here. So stay tuned to walkafay.com, and we got you. Peace. And once again, we out. Peace.